Hey everyone! As you noticed, I'm in a bit of a different location right now because basically I'm right in the middle of moving and everything. But I still wanted to make a video so we could talk about payback a little bit. So, tonight is WWE Payback. And I want to try to give some predictions as to what I think is going to go down. Personally, don't care all that much about this pay-per-view. I think it's going to be alright. But it's worth talking about still. I am pretty pumped about the Elimination Chamber coming up, even though that just... I don't even understand what they're going to be doing with that. But, let's get to predictions. First one, Curtis Axel and Damian Macho Man Mandow versus The Ascension. The Ascension are garbage. So, with Sandow being so over like he is, um, I hate that he's paired with Axel because I don't want Axel to get any success even though he's doing the whole Axel mania business. Uh, definitely Axel and Mandow are going to take out The Ascension. Because again, they're garbage and Mandow's just way too over to have him lose right now. And if they want to make him into some cool tag team and take it from the New Day, fine. But ultimately Mandow needs to be on his own. Next one, King Barrett versus Neville. Uh, don't really care about uh, King Barrett and Neville anymore. Like, it's cool to have him because I want Wade Barrett to be as high profile as he can because I think he's awesome. And Neville, who's really killing it right now coming up from NXT. But it'd be nice to have him, to give him another opponent, like him in Ziggler at a pay-per-view again or something like that. That would be particularly cool. But this one, it's a little bit, it's difficult because I think it may be the best match of the entire pay-per-view. But I think ultimately King Barrett's going to still win it. Um, just because he's King Barrett and they want to keep that train rolling. And Neville's got this like, I'm awesome underdog who never wins, but I look great every time I do it type thing. And I think he'll start winning soon. So, I'm going to say King Barrett for this one. Uh, next one, Naomi and Tamina Snuka versus Nikki and Brie Bella. It's hard for me to care about the Divas when Paige and AJ Lee aren't involved, but you know what, we're going to have to deal with it in this. I'm going to end up saying that I think the heels are going to, nah, I think the heels are going to win this one. Nikki and Brie Bella take out Tamina and Naomi. Why? I don't know if it matters a whole lot, although I do think Nikki has been doing some great things as Divas Champ. She's been wonderful in getting a reaction out of people. I didn't particularly care about Nikki Bella at all until she took the title, so I gotta give her a lot of credit. And it's nice to see Tamina Snuka come back, even though it seems like they changed her character in a way that I don't know if I dig all that much, because it looks like they mess with her like ethnically and everything, which, whatever. I mean, that's what the WWE does, but it's just funny. I don't know. All right, so. Again, we're going to go with the Bella Twins on this one. And next one, Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. It's a replay of the Kiss My Arse contest. <laughs> yeah, Ziggler, flashy. Uh, Sheamus, not so much. I like that he's got this new character where he's a mean guy. Um, just to be short about it, I think this could be a pretty good match again. I think Sheamus is going to end up taking it because Ziggler ended up winning the last one. So, short and sweet, we're going to go with Sheamus for the win. Next one, Bray Wyatt versus Ryback. This is, this is classic two guys they don't have to do with that are going to be superstars for them or are superstars for them. And they're just like, all right, we're just going to toss them together. Um, for me, it's a no-brainer that Bray Wyatt's going to end up winning this because he's someone that I think they really think can still be a total superstar. And Ryback just like right below that. So I think they don't want him to lose steam from his Royal Rumble, um, even though he kind of already has. And they're going to end up having Bray Wyatt win this one. So we're going Bray Wyatt! And the next one is the WWE Tag Team Championship, two out of three falls, New Day versus Kit and Cesaro. Uh, short and sweet about it, I, I think they like New Day as, as heels, and I think they like Cesaro and Kid as faces. I think they're going to keep putting them back and forth, back and forth. So I end up thinking that Kid and Cesaro are going to take this one. So, Kid and Cesaro. And last one, no, last one, the I Quit match, Cena versus Rusev. Um, I think Rusev is gonna be bad. I think he's gonna end up losing. I think Cena's gonna turn Lana good. And that's gonna be a whole other weird thing to their feud that's gonna continue to go. So, ultimately, I think Cena wins! Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. But it'll be a good match because they have had good matches even though I don't really like Cena all that much. Um, the last one! The World Heavyweight Championship Fatal 4-Way. 
which really should have still been a three-way, but whatever. Um, we got Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton versus Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns. Still shocked Dean Ambrose made his way into this match. I think adding him makes it way better, truthfully, but you have three faces and a heel. Uh, maybe that'll turn someone else heel, I don't probably not. Um, but ultimately, the people that I want to see most in this match are Rollins and Ambrose, so hopefully it comes down to them again at some point, and they have their own singles match. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go. I'm, I'm pretty certain that Rollins is going to end up being the victor in this whole thing. It's going to be some convoluted way, of course, but I don't know. Maybe Kane will get involved, which I, I don't care if he's heel or face. Just like Big Show, he needs to go as far as his run in the WWE. I just, I just don't care, okay? So, ultimately, we're going to go with Seth Rollins winning some Weasley way. So, Seth Rollins! And that's about it for my predictions. Payback, it's going to be alright. I actually got the WWE Network again, just so I could watch this. It's free. And I think it's going to be okay. So, please like, comment, do whatever you got to do. But, I'm going to do some kind, of, uh, some kind of review video for Payback tonight. See what I got wrong. You can make fun of me, whatever you'd like to do. So, if you have anything to say, please message, comment, or you can even tweet me at the SAPcock and let me know what you think. Alright? You take care. See ya.